Hopefully they clean up easy too. <laughs> clean up and aisle my underpants. find an SUV with the reputation of the Land Cruiser. It off-roads like a Jeep while providing the luxury and comfort found in a Range Rover. Except this one, it's actually reliable. Now here in the States, we didn't get all the versions of the Land Cruiser. Like a lot of good cars, we don't get all the versions. And a new Land Cruiser, well, that'll run you about 85,000 buckaroos. Oh my. So what does a 29-year-old imported Japanese version get you? This is a 1990 Toyota Land Cruiser 70 series, and it's a two-door model, so it really is a sight to see, especially with this rare factory option FRP removable roof. And no, it's the winter. I'm not gonna take this thing off. I'm already freezing my off. Now these are notable for their recognizable styling, robust diesel power plant, and mountain climbing four-wheel drive system. Its technology basically dates back to the 1970s, and it still works absolute wonders to this day. Now, the cockpit of this Land Cruiser is actually surprisingly roomy, especially compared to my Jeep Wrangler TJ 1999 that's a similar layout. Now, there's lots of glass in here, and it has a very upright windshield. But what I like is the very upright and tall driving position. It puts you in a very commanding position on the road. And matched with all of this glass in here, it gives you amazing visibility. Now, these seats are absolutely comfortable enough to daily drive but they're also well bolstered for when you're in some off camber situations. <laughs> Hopefully they clean up easy too. <laughs> clean up and aisle my underpants. For an almost 30 year old SUV, this thing is handling this terrain awesome. And in the snow too, this thing's fantastic. Now, over the years, Toyota has fitted the Land Cruisers with a plethora of different powertrain options. This one in particular is fitted with the 1HZ. Now, the 1HZ is a 4.2 liter, naturally aspirated diesel inline six cylinder, and it's factory rated around 120, 130 horsepower and a little over 200 foot pounds of torque. That means a zero to 60 time on the road of, well, <laughs> eventually except for that doesn't matter at all in a vehicle like this it's a slow crawler meant to go and play in the woods not break land speed records come on and the combination of the five-speed manual transmission and the relatively lightweight truck make it phenomenal out in the trails where I had it before and it's not a complete dog on the road I mean it's <laughs> usable it is slow it's very slow you notice when you take off from a start in first gear just how short of a gear it is. It's clearly meant for just crawling over rocks. See, watch this. This is first gear. Ready? The thing just crawls. It'll crawl up a friggin' mountain like that. Then you get into second gear. It's a little bit longer. Still not that long. Story of my life. Now we do have electronically locking hubs over here as the switch. And this thing is running two solid axles. So it's not gonna be handling exactly like a Rolls Royce on the road. But come on, we're talking about a 30 year old Land Cruiser. C come on now. Now we do have rear seats back there that actually aren't as big as I was expecting, but because there's no third row and they squish the second row pretty close to the driver's and passenger seats, you do have a ton of cargo room back there. You have those cool barn doors that open up. It's a very, very cool feature. I actually much prefer that over to the one large tailgate that my Jeep has. So it's very cool the way that the barn doors open up and you actually have a ton of storage room. So this thing is actually a very, very usable SUV. And the whole time it's driving around, it looks absolutely bad 
so it's a win-win. Now this specific Land Cruiser does have a fresh paint job on it, does have an aftermarket Momo racing steering wheel that was installed in Japan, which is kind of odd for an off-roader to have such like a street car steering wheel, but I mean, to each their own. And of course there is an aftermarket stereo in here, but the biggest and the best aftermarket upgrade made to this thing is these fresh KMR Goodyear tires. These things are just a hair under 33 inches, and they're absolutely amazing, especially in the snow where I had them earlier. The snow, the sand, the mud, these things went fantastic. Those tires on this chassis with this powertrain, mwah, excellent. Once again, a massive shout out to my friends over at Northeast Auto Imports for allowing me to drive their 1990 Toyota Land Cruiser. I'll include a link down in the description below so you can check out their website and their wide array of JDM cars, trucks, and vans that they have available for sale. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet, and I will see you guys in the next video. Happy motoring.